Hello, my friend. It is Adrian from Contact Mapping. Hope you are having a great day. One of my all-time favorite movies, I'm a huge Bill Murray fan, is a movie called What About Bob? Uh, if you haven't seen it, it is hysterical. But he is this sort of like neurotic guy, and he is sitting down talking to his psycho their psychotherapist or psychoanalyst or whatever and he's like yeah I'm divorced and the the guy goes oh well, tell me more about that why and he goes there are two types of people in this world those who like Neil Diamond and those who don't my ex-wife loved him so anyway I just that cracks me up I don't know why that sticks in my head but I love thinking about like what are the two categories of people in this world and You've probably heard us over the last couple of weeks or so talking a bunch about Clubhouse. It's all the new hotness. It just seems like there's so much going on over there. So many different conversations happening on that platform. And it's interesting because it's like, I think it became this phenomenon really quickly inside of this particular sort of neck, neck of the woods that I hang out in. It's been a phenomenon for quite some time. I was hearing about it, you know, six months ago when it was in a private beta. So it's been building steam for a while, but they're kind of opening it up and it seems to have really ta uh, taken hold in the world that we live in now. And what's crazy is it has kind of become this thing where you're, you're seeing like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 pretty big names in the network marketing space that are hanging out over there a lot. Uh, some people that are really there adding a huge amount of value, giving voice to a whole lot of people, really trying to contribute. And a few scenarios where I'm hearing a certain amount of a situation where I think people are hogging the mic a little bit and maybe more interested in kind of looking like they've got all the answers or thinking that they have all the answers and dispensing their pearls of wisdom than they really are in listening to what's being shared and contributing. And they're spending a lot of time over there, which, like, which is really cool, right? I'm thankful that people are doing that, but I think that there is a right way and a wrong way to do almost anything. And I think that the best conversations on Clubhouse are a lot like the best conversations that you've ever had at a dinner party or at a small gathering of friends or whatever, right? The best kinds of conversations in any one of those kinds of gatherings, and I think Clubhouse is the digital manifestation of that, is the best kinds of conversations are the ones where the little guy in the room, the person who isn't the one driving the fanciest car, who isn't the one who is, you know, has a huge following or who everybody sort of looks to because they're supposedly, you know, the, the big shot in the room, that that person is as valued and as heard and as looked after as the people with the big microphones or the big followings. And I did, just as an experiment, I, I did a little pop-up conversation on Clubhouse today. I was eating lunch. I had 30 minutes that I didn't have anything I needed to really do. And so I just stood up a, a clubhouse room out of nowhere and we had this awesome conversation. There were a cool, a couple people that have big followings that popped on there and said hi, but there were some brand new people who I had never met before who came on and instead of, you know, just having them be like, hey, what's your question and we're going to move on and I've got all the answers, it was much more of a conversational sort of a format. And so no matter what you're doing, right, there's a place for advice. There's some incredible advice being given on Clubhouse. I got no problem with that at all. But if you are in the business of giving device advice, if you're in a position to give advice because you have earned that platform, do it in a way that is honoring to the people that are listening to you. And where you can get to know their story, give them an opportunity to shine inside of that conversation. I think there's huge value in that. I think we all want to be seen. We all want to feel a part of the club, right? I love the name of this app, Clubhouse, because we wanna feel a part of the club, right? It's not the cool people and the people down there. It's about being part of a club, being part of a community where we get to have an exchange of ideas and it's fun and powerful. And so I think that's an idea that applies not just to Clubhouse, it applies to everything that we do. 
Where can you be a force to help other people feel better about themselves as a result of interacting with you? One of the things that we have in our coffee shop interview that we talk a lot about is this idea, right? Every, one of our six rules for every conversation is that the person on the other side of the table should feel, feel better about themselves at the end of that conversation than they did at the beginning. And it's as simple as making people feel valued, finding a way to catch them doing something right, finding a way to pay them an authentic compliment. You can add so much value to people's lives by just seeing them and looking for that opportunity to lift others up, to be a blessing to other people. So I wanna encourage you to do that. The other thing I wanna invite you to do, if you are plugging into to Clubhouse or you're using any kind of social media to build your business, to grow, to connect with others, I wanna invite you to come and check out the contact mapping app. I'm having so many conversations these days that it just starts to all run together. And the most powerful way for me to be able to keep people straight and to remember who is who is I am documenting that in my app so that now I'm able to not just have these be little flashes in the pan, but instead to build a real relationship and a real connection with people that lasts beyond a tiny conversation. And so I wanna invite you to do that. I want you to invite you to come and see what that's about. There's a completely free version, so you can go and check that out. And so if you wanna check out the app and just see what it's all about, just put app in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot you a link over to set you up. And it's awesome, it's easy, it's fun, it's powerful, and it shows you what to do. And so I'm excited for you to check that out, but at the end of the day, we're all in the business of making people feel seen, connecting powerfully and meaningfully, and business results are going to manifest themselves as a result of that. So thanks for being here with me today. Great to see you. Trip Stewart, brother, long time no see, man. Miss you, hope you're doing well. Thanks for jumping on here today, and I will catch you all real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.